Hey everybody, this is Jeff Rappaport reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2017. Behind me is the prototype Strato 714, a would-be competitor in the owner-operated turbine aircraft market. Designed as the next step up for the owner of a Lancer 4P, the 714 will offer single engine economics, but with a promised top speed of over 400 knots. Squarely competitive with light twin jets, but also quite a bit faster than the Cirrus. But first, this fast and beautiful proof of concept has to get to production in a market that has seen many try and fail. We got a tour from Fred Hadlich, Stratos Aircraft Prototype Project Manager. Let's take a look. Well, the aircraft's initial design was started because our CEO, Michael LaMare, uh, owned a high-performance four-place aircraft. Uh, you know, and, and there, at the time, there was, no, uh, there was no jet of that class of uh, smaller jets that were high-performance. Uh, that, that could get you where you wanted to go and we're, and we're also very elegant like the jet behind me is. Um, and that's kind of what started the design. 714 uh, is for Mach 7 single engine four passengers and that's kind of how uh, the design initiated. Um, it, uh, it started from there and it's kind of morphed a little bit. We didn't initially actually want the airplane to be a sixth place, uh, but we really saw the need to be able to have two other passengers. So that's the origin of the name. Our goal is to cruise at 41,000 feet with a range of 1,500 nautical miles uh, with four passengers at about 400 knots. Um, we'll do about 1,200 nautical miles with six passengers. Um, we're, really, we're really hoping to not only make an economical VLJ, but uh, really have some really good performance numbers as well. The prototype behind me here is uh, powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada JT15D-5, uh, which is an older turbofan uh, that you'll find in like a Beach Jet 400, for example. Uh, it's about 2950 uh, pounds of thrust. Uh, it's a very high performance engine. It's not as economical as some of these newer turbofans are, but we chose that engine for our prototype uh, because they're, they're much cheaper and they're much easier to obtain. Uh, we plan on uh, possibly using the 535E Pratt uh, turbofan for the certified version, which will be uh, much more uh, economical and also will be uh, up to 3,400 pounds of thrust. So we'll get a little boost in performance as well as a little bit of uh, fuel savings. Airframe construction is, is basically all carbon fiber. What's unique about this aircraft is uh, behind the pressure bulkhead of the fuselage, there's a section of a steel truss, and that steel truss is what actually attaches the tail to the aircraft. So it's kind of modular in some ways. It allows us to do things like replace our steel truss with a different one that would accept a different type of power plant. Um, it also allows us to uh, do things that uh, most companies aren't able to do, maybe change our tail feathers just very slightly and produce something that's a little different to try to help us develop different designs to optimize what we're trying to do. Um, so it's very unique in that way. Uh, you're seeing a lot of guys now that are operating turboprops of this class, uh, and, and there's, there's a need for something that's a little more economical and a little more speed, and, and we're trying to fill that market. Uh, you know, Cirrus Vision Jet is also trying to fill kind of that void in the market as well. Um, you know, we're just trying to do it a little differently. Uh, their, you know, their jet has a, has kind of a different range of specs than we uh, we have, and, and we're just trying to fill that that other market. The general price of the aircraft will probably be competitive with most turboprops of a similar size. Um, you know, any any of the TBMs or the certified uh, Epic, for example, we're probably going to fall into a price range just like that. We're we're hoping to receive more funding to go straight to certification. Uh, but we're prepared to be a, a kit plane company. We, we've set our company up to do that if needed. Uh, we're also prepared to start producing airplanes right away. Um, you know, the parts are in stock, the, the equipment is there, the facilities are there, and they're ready to go. Um, but we'd, we'd much prefer to uh, build more prototypes and hopefully a conforming prototype to chase certification. You know, the airplane has been engineered to be certified from the get-go, so the, the amount of engineering that needs to be done is, is far less uh, than just the conformity things that we need to accomplish uh, for the FAA. Um, so, you know, we've done a really good job about how we've made our part numbering systems, how we've stored our engineering documents, uh, how we've set up our systems to be ready to go to certification right away. Um, it's more about just trying to, trying to deal with some of the conformity issues, which, which can be costly and timely. To find out more information, you can go to stratusaircraft.com. We're also on Instagram, at stratusaircraft. You can also see us on Facebook, at stratus714.